The idea that all asteroids the size of arrows must necessarily be rubble piles, we now know that is not correct. But on the other hand, we do not believe that all asteroids must necessarily be like arrows. Okay? And one of the things we are finding is that there is a lot of diversity. That among the uh, now four asteroids that have been studied by spacecraft, Eros, Matilda being two of them, the other two being Gaspar and Ida, that um, they're all very different. That um, some of them seem to be rubble piles, some don't, some are differentiated and some are not. So there's a lot going on, there's a lot of complexity. We should not really be surprised. I think any time we take a planet, anything as complicated as a planet, and study it up close, we discover things we hadn't expected. It's just life is not simple, and that, that's really the message, I guess. The, the descent of, to the surface, of course, gives us the opportunity to get the highest possible resolutions to the minimum ranges at which the instruments can actually acquire useful data. And so that is going to be our highest resolution look at the surface. And so that's the, that's the main benefit of okay. This is the first time that any spacecraft has landed on a small body. <laughs> <laughs> wow, right.